In the past, the middle of the Swift Group's portfolio might have been accused of being a little bit muddled. There was the Challenger Sport, but also the Challenger SE. But for 2016, with the Sprite's move upmarket, Swift has put the SE and the Sport together to create this, the new Challenger. This model is the 590, it's a six berth, family friendly layout, and it's a really good looking van. I particularly like the automotive touches around the front, but perhaps one of the most interesting things about it can be found on the back. These badges on the back are another automotive touch, and this one here is particularly interesting. It tells us that this van is equipped with optional Aldi wet central heating. Now to have that as an option is pretty unusual, and it's a pretty unusual thing to have in a mid-level van. But then this is a pretty posh mid-level van, and as a result, it's quite a bit more expensive than the likes of the Bailey Pegasus. But then the fit and finish inside are really quite classy. Fitting everything you need for six people into a caravan is always tricky, no matter how big it is. Doing that while retaining a sense of space is even harder, but the Challenger achieves that pretty effectively. The sunroof and triple window you see behind me bring in plenty of light, and this lounge area will seat six at a push. It might be worth opting for wraparound front seating instead of a chest if you want more space than that. At night, of course, it turns into a pretty good sized double bed. One of the impressive features, however, is storage. This wardrobe is simply massive. There's full height hanging space and lots of room beneath for bags or shoes. The kitchen initially seems as if it doesn't have vast amounts of worktop. There's enough to be going along with, but if you need more, there's a flap here, which gives you plenty more space to put food while you prepare it. Elsewhere in the kitchen, you'll find a decent sized fridge, separate oven and grill, and of course, a four burner hob with a hot plate. There's even a microwave sited pretty sensibly above the sink instead of the cooker, although it is relatively high for some people. Considering that the washroom is often a major compromise in this layout, Swift has done a brilliant job of crabbing as much as possible into the small space without it feeling cramped. There's a separate fully lined shower cubicle, a good sized sink, together with a couple of cupboards to store the usual washroom knickknacks and a Thetford electric flush toilet. At the back here, there's an unusually spacious dinette that'll accommodate three kids for a game of Monopoly. And at night, of course, you can turn it into a bunk with another fold-out bunk above. This truly is the kids' zone. There's a couple of fixed bunk beds on the other side, each with their own window and reading light. Now, at first sight, this area doesn't seem to break much in the way of new ground. We've seen this kind of layout before plenty of times. However, there are a couple of fantastic little touches that really mark this out as a well thought out caravan. First of all, in this cupboard here, you'll find the connections for the TV and a socket with a point above for those leads to come out so everything's hidden away. A really nice touch. And secondly, underneath the bunk, it's beautifully thought out. There's an access flap to access it from the inside, another from the outside, and if you lift it up, in order to access your gear, there's even a little clip to hold it so you don't bash your head and your arms while you're getting things out. Bearing in mind that this is a family van and you'll be needing to access your kit plenty of times during your stay, it's touches like these that you'll really appreciate. In fact, there are internal access flaps to all of the underbed storage points, though sadly no other external access. At a shade over seven and a half metres long, this is a pretty big caravan. Yet even with the optional Aldi wet central heating, it weighs in at a relatively reasonable 1586 kilos. Now, if you're a family of six looking for a spacious and comfortable tourer, there's a relatively limited amount of options available to you. If you can stretch to its near 20 grand price tag, the Challenger 590 is well worth a look.